Hello everyone, welcome to the RN tutorials on engineering mechanics. So here we are going to discuss a little bit introduction to the center of gravity and centroid. So I would like to give the definition for center of gravity and centroid. So what do you mean by center of gravity? So it is defined as a point at which the whole weight of the body is concentrated. So whenever you take any particular solid body, it can have certain weight according to its mass and uh, according to its gravitational acceleration it will maintain certain uh, weight okay so uh, for that for particular solid body uh, at a point where the total whole weight of the body is concentrated that point is called as center of gravity so consider these are the two bodies uh, the point where the weight w is equal to mg is concentrated that point we call it as the center of gravity so then again what do you mean by centroid centroid is uh, similar to center of gravity only but it is considered for plane figures so centroid also uh, exactly at the middle of the body or plane where the whole weight of the body acts but the centroid is the term which is separately uh, referred for the plane figures which have unit thickness we consider the planes uh, will be having unit thickness so for that also same uh, where the whole weight of the body acts or the middle exactly middle point of the uh, uh, certain shape that is a plane of that particular body is the point at which again the point sorry and the point at which again the weight of the body acts for the plane figures is called as the centroid okay both uh, the definition is same but the term is different here i want to give certain some formulas for the general geometrical figures so first uh, for rectangle uh, the center of gravity or centroid e concentrates at a point where the two diagonals of the uh, rectangle uh, meet or intersect with each other so again it can be written as half of the length at the co contact point uh, of the half of the length and half of the breadth that will give you the center of gravity okay similarly the formula for the triangle e or in not no formula here how to represent the center of gravity means here by drawing the medians medians means uh, the lines which uh, exactly divides the corner angle into two equal parts so uh, more than two when you draw more than two medians for the triangle the intersecting point of those medians will give you the center of gravity that is the point at which the whole weight of the body acts similarly for uh, trapezoid here the trapezoid again the formula is given as uh, on a vertical line which passes at the middle that is the center point of the two sides bottom side and the top side so and from the base that is from the bottom side it is at a distance of h by 3 into b plus 2a by b plus a b is the base side and a is the top side and by knowing the height of this uh, trapezoid we can find the uh, center of gravity height of the center of gravity at which it is taking place on the vertical line we can find out similarly center of gravity for the semicircle which is from a base and having a radius r the formula is 4 r by 3 pi remember the formula center of gravity for the semicircle from its base is 4 r by 3 pi. similarly center of gravity of the circular sector circular sector uh, which is having a vertical angle alpha here with which makes an angle with vertical length with this vertical line this land surface of the sector will make an angle of alpha here so see the cursor where i am placing the cursor uh, that angle is alpha okay so when it makes a vertical angle alpha so what is the uh, center of gravity from its top fx point on the central axis is given as 2 r by 3 into sin alpha by alpha the radius whatever the radius it will be consisting of the sector the total radius so the radius means here the slant surface we need to consider so that radius 2 into r by 3 into sin alpha by alpha is the center of gravity for the circular sector and similarly center of gravity of the sphere is at a distance of half of the diameter of the sphere sphere means it will be in the shape of a ball solid ball so automatically at the middle point of the sphere uh, the center of gravity takes place so that is equal to d by 2 from top base or side or from the bottom base we can consider similarly center of gravity of the circular cylindrical cone so for this cone if you consider the total height as a h 
so then from the base the center of gravity e will be at a distance of h by 4 which is the formula h by 4 when you consider the height is h from the base to the apex point and the from the base it is at a distance of on the vertical axis h by 4 and similarly for hemisphere hemisphere means half cut portion of the sphere so from the base it is the center of gravity is at a distance of 3r by 8 okay as shown in figure it will be at a distance of 3r by 8 by knowing the diameter we can find the center of gravity of the hemisphere okay similarly again center of gravity of the uh, segment this particular portion of the sphere at any particular height you are cutting okay now so from the top portion not from the top portion by knowing the height so by knowing the height means height of this uh, segment from the top face and we can find the center of gravity for this particular segment by uh, from the uh, middle uh, center of the sphere here the formula is 3 by 4 into 2r minus h whole square by 3r minus h okay these are the basic formulas for the basic geometrical figures so by knowing this we can go for solving the problem for finding the center of gravity of particular symmetrical and unsymmetrical shapes uh, just i've given only the definition of the formulas try to note down the formulas and by heart the formulas which can be useful for further lectures on center of gravity so once again thanks for watching my video thank you all